Hi guys, my name's Mr. Bennett and welcome to science class here at the Classroom Bar in North Perth. I'm going to be walking you through our most popular cocktail here at the bar, our espresso martini. We tend to do ours just a little bit different from everyone else, sneaking a little bit of liquid nitrogen that changes things up and hopefully gives our drink just a bit of a creative edge. All right, as with any espresso martini, we're starting with our fresh pressed coffee. We're lucky enough to use Dark Star, a locally roasted coffee from Western Australia. It's got six beans in the blend, and it's beautiful. We freshly press every espresso shot, and that's the foundation to our drink. Next is our house-made blend of espresso mix. Uh, we base ours on a top quality uh, vanilla vodka, a Russian vodka, and then blend in it a dark chocolate liqueur, an Italian coffee liqueur, and sneak in there a bit of Pedro Jimenez sherry as well just for a kick on the back palate. We mix it all up and start with 45 mils with our, uh, with our espresso shot. After that, it's just adding ice and shaking. Now, as you know, with any good espresso martini, the secret's shaking the bejesus out of it. Right, should be ready to go. There we go, looking pretty good so far. This is kind of where everyone else stops with their espresso martini. This is kind of where we get started. Next comes li liquid nitrogen. Now this odorless, colorless gas uh, is at a liquid state at minus 196 degrees Celsius. So whatever it touches, it tends to freeze pretty quick. All we're going to do is add it to the top of our drink and it's going to instantly freeze the crema, kind of like a creme brulee. And that's going to keep the liquid part down the bottom as a liquid, but just give the, uh, the top of the drink a frozen edge to create a different aspect. Here we go coming out of the liquid nitrogen container, which is called a dewa. And here we go, straight on the top of the drink. Now as I'm talking, that's bubbling and fizzying away. Um, guests get a really uh, a good kick out of this drink because it's it's just it's a little bit of theatre, but it also changes the way that we present the drink as well. Now, as that's freezing the top of the drink, we're going to add our third element, which is a homemade sherry and mascarpone foam that we make in house as well. All this does is cap off the drink, kind of like an elaborate uh, cappuccino. A dust of chocolate, and we're ready to go. Hope you enjoy our liquid nitrogen espresso martini. Don't stop. Believe